designed to fail. That's what this bill is, designed to fail. And very frankly, you made sure that it was going to fail uh, when you passed the amendment that added the uh, reform bill and this bill together. Designed to fail. How sad. I don't think you want to raise taxes on anybody. I understand that. I'll accept that premise. But what we ought to do is to make sure that the agreement that we have with the Senate and the House, that at least, at least the 98 percent of Americans who make less than 250000 ought to have no increase in their taxes. At least we ought to do that. America knows we have agreement on that. And they're wondering why, when you have agreement, don't you take that agreement and give the assurance and certainty to 98 percent of the American working people that they won't have an increase in their taxes so they'll have the confidence that they'll have that money in their pocket to perhaps purchase that refrigerator that uh, they need or that oven that they need or perhaps a new car or help their kid go to college. Why don't we give them that confidence, I say to my friends. Mr. Speaker, I wish we would do so. Today we could embrace the agreement that the Senate has come to and tell the 98 percent you're safe. And in addition to that, by rejecting this bill, we will reject taking money out of 25 million people's pockets that they rely on to support themselves and their children. That's what the Senate bill does. It protects the wealthiest in America while telling some of the poorest in America, least well off in America, you're going to pay more. You're going to get less. How perverse. How undermining of our, our economy. How undermining of the confidence of our people. Ladies and gentlemen of this House, we're better than this. Newt Gingrich uh, talked uh, some years ago in 1998 about the perfectionist caucus. And Mr. Speaker, he said, uh, embrace agreement. He was agreeing with President Clinton and Newt Gingrich at that point in time on a budget which adopted PAYGO one more time, uh, which is one of the reasons why we balanced the budget four years in a row. The Senate bill not only leaves 98 percent of the people, excuse me, the uh, uh, bill that we're now considering, uh, the House uh, Ways and Means bill, leaves 98 percent of our people at risk, while our bill gives 100 percent of the people a tax cut. Let us reject the House bill, let us adopt the substitute. Let us send it to the Senate and make it law. The President will sign it, and it can become law and give confidence and help to those 98 percent of Americans. I'm the gentleman yield from back the balance of my Maryland time. Maryland has expired.